Hey YouTube, Brian from Channel Huckster here. And today I will actually be opening up some of the 2020 Megatons. I was actually fortunate enough to get three of them. So we'll open that up as well as actually fortunate enough to get these two cards, which will be used in my newest Dark Magician deck profile that I will try to release within the next week. Uh, I also want to apologize if you can hear the AC running in the back. Uh, living in Southern California right now at about 10 o'clock at night, the weather is still about 90 degrees outside. So, gotta love that California weather. So, I tried recording without it. I, with these lights on me and all that, it, it was just too much. So, I'm hoping it's not too loud, hoping it doesn't distract from the video. So, speaking of distracting, let's just get right into it. So... Obviously, big contenders, you know, we want to pull another Dragoon, actually, because uh, with some Dark Magician combos, you, you can do, uh, actually get two out, but I, I, that, that would just be awesome if it can happen, but, you know, if it doesn't happen, eh, it's okay, but I got my one right there. Um, obviously, Extravagance, I actually have a friend who needs another one, so it'd be nice to pull out for him. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Appalosa. Uh, you know, I already have that too, so that would just be another one for a friend. Um, Avramax. You know, there's, there's a lot of cards in this, actually, that just overall really great printings. So, I uh, already opened those up. Let's just get right into it. Again, unfortunately, no promos in this one. I don't know why they didn't do it, but it is what it is. So, you know, actually, we'll just we'll just take them all out and we'll put them all right here right now. Put these to the side. So, there we go. And, I mean, obviously, as shown earlier, the tin looks nice. So we'll put those there, we'll put those there, we'll put those there in order. So let's just get right into it. Okay, open the pack, there we go. So, Infinite Tracks, you know, I got printed in here. Really, no one cares about the comments, so I might just honestly kind of go through those quickly. Gladiator Rejection, Time Thief Winder, Dragoonity Knight Romulus. I actually really like this as the uh, Seeker Rare. I actually have the Ultra Rare, but I think this will look a lot nicer in uh, my Dragon Maid deck, so really happy about that. Uh, Psychic Wielder, you know, just good rank 3 card. Infinitrack Harvester, you know, was also not a bad card. Uh, underrated card, I feel. A lot of Gladiator stuff in this. Uh, some Guard Dragon, you know. So, uh, not, not bad. I, I, I do like the, the Romulus. Let's see, what else do we have? And again, just kind of going through the commons. No one really cares about that. Soul of Anguish, not bad. Eh. The Gizmec one, not too good. That Fusion Destiny's kind of good. I like that one too. Abomination's Prison, eh. Or that. I'm, I'm upset about this. As someone who Medulce is their second favorite, the Petting Sessor and Glass Souffle, those should have been at least supers. Uh, Konami dropped the ball on that. Yeah. They shouldn't have even been rares to begin with, but it, I guess it is what it is. Let's see, going through a lot of Gladiator B stuff I'm getting. Soul Disaster, Witchcrafter Scroll. I mean, I, I do have Witchcrafter, so. Oh, there there you go. Speaking of that, she was a super, I believe. So, there's Ultra is that. World Legacy Monstrosity, by the way. Really good for. Um, we had uh, Generators. I got a friend who plays that, so maybe I'll give him that one. Uh, get Out! I, I feel like this is also a really underrated card. It wasn't too expensive, but, you know, now it's obviously even cheaper. So, first tin was okay. I mean, not really anything too crazy. Hopefully the next two are a lot better. Put that to the side. Got a lot of Unchained stuff here. Gladiator Beast. Don't know why they made that. Oh, Blue Tank Super. Another... Gizmec, it's in there. Marble Rock, eh. Yeah, not really looking too good on that one. Let's see, 
Rocket, Dino Wrestler, Morge Schlag. I, I probably saw that wrong. Chariot, Blue Slug, Speed Lift. I actually do like this. Magicalized Fusion as this looks really nice. I, I know it's not necessarily a, the high price card to pull, but I actually like it. You can do some pretty nutty things with like Anaconda with it. I used to kind of for a little bit, test around with Quintet Magician with it. It was fun. Uh, Gizmech Orochi, really nice. Glad to see that, you know, being reprinted and being cheaper. It wasn't too expensive, but, you know, now obviously it's a lot cheaper. Gren Maju loves it. I actually uh, built that kind of online and started playing around with it a little bit a couple days ago. It, it's fun. Uh, of all Witchcrafter cards, I mean, they don't really run that, so, you know, it is what it is. So... Uh, so far, I'm not looking too great, but, you know, I'd say, like, yeah, the best card I got was probably that Gizmek Orochi so far. Crusader. Horn Chain. Exchange Dragon. Guard Dragon LP. I actually really like that as a secret. And actually, Successor Soul, that's one of the newer ones. I actually made a video about it uh, somewhat recently. It was the last video I made. Uh, it's... It's supposed to be kind of, you know, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes support, you know, like all the stuff in this is for the newer promos, minus Dragoon, that's just Dark Magician. But it actually, I've heard Neos can use it really well, and a lot of other stuff can. Tribute one effect monster, then target one uh, effect monster your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard, then special summon one level seven uh, or higher normal monster from your hand or deck. You can only activate one of this card per turn. You can only attack with one monster to turn you activate this card. I mean, that's, that's cool, you know. I wouldn't say it's... I wouldn't say it's awful, but I wouldn't say it's great. It's it's situational. Like I said, I know I've heard Neos is using it just to cheese him out from the deck. So, And there's probably going to be other things in the future. I, I feel it would be that card that will be good in the future. Sign that Mind Very... I, that I'm happy about. Borload Savage Dragon reprint as Prismatic so nice so beautiful okay that there you go that's a good card to get uh gold maruru she she wasn't too much uh before i already had the secret of her for my bushcrafter deck but really like that this, this was the better pack right here sign it mining even that's a little bit i think even this card's a little bit but uh yeah that, that's that's not a bad one that okay very happy about that so i mean one of the best Rank 8 monsters. Rank 8. Sorry, it's uh, level 8 synchros. Yeah. Going on the next ones right here. Eh. Disaster. Shaman. I saw the Ultra Fusion. I was happy. You follow up with a, a bad pack after the good one. So here we go. Last pack. You know, let's hope for another Dragoon, but if not, eh. Oh well. Going in, Trencher. I actually do play Hain, uh, obviously, and you usually do. Uh, it's nice to see her as a Seeker Rare. Uh, I'll need one more, because I usually like to do two for the lock. But not bad. Brotar I like, actually, as a, an Ultra, you know, Reaper. And he, he was a little up there. Personally, I like the Seeker more, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And then the rest of the card. So, Overall, I would say this opening wasn't great. Uh, Savage Dragon, very nice. Uh, like I said, Signet Mining's pretty good. Those are really like the two good cards that I got, other than, you know, ones that I like from the other thing. But I've heard that about one tin out of every case kind of has a um, Dragoon, and then like two tins out of every case have Appalosa. Like I said, I really wasn't expecting much. You usually shouldn't expect much when opening stuff and just kind of be more surprised if you get something good. But overall, that's it. I just kind of wanted to make a quick tin opening video since I had the opportunity to get them. Anyway, uh, hope you all have a good night. Um, expect, again, the uh, Dark Magician deck profile uh, updated one coming out, especially now that I got these. Uh, honestly, I, like I said, it'd be I kind of just got this one even though I could have pulled it. Because there, to me, is that fear that we kind of copy the OCG and limited anyway. But, you know, if not, and I did get it, like I said, you know, Dark Magician actually has a way to 
bring out two of them. Most of the other decks, you really just need one anyway. So, overall, I'm not too upset. I, I, I basically got what I thought I would get. So anyway, uh, that's it. Expect that video soon, and uh, have a good night.